Hey y'all, welcome back to Fiasco Factory where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. I started working on some defensive structures which make absolutely zero difference in this game, but I kind of like them. I'll probably take them up a little bit higher. i definitely take that up a little bit higher. Our little corner gun emplacements. I haven't quite done it over there yet. But uh, that's not what we're here to do today. Uh, today, I think we'll go do a little bit more preparation for uh, for defending the base. And so, last episode, I uh, made a major snafu where I thought this nickel thing was full. It was full of gold ore. I should have known that because it was yellow. And I didn't point at a block and look at it to see what it was storing. But uh, this guy was set to output titanium. Uh, sorry, nickel. Which it... Fortunately, we didn't just grab the gold and output that. If I'd had this, can you have it not set to anything? I don't know if you can. Uh, but I thought setting this to a specific thing would, because uh, this is currently stocking nickel bar. I thought that I remembered trying to put something else into something that had a bar uh, uh, product type selected and it wouldn't put it in, that it got jammed. I guess that's not the case. I guess I could put anything in here and it would get in here. So unfortunately, this thing got filled up with gold. I thought maybe that I had made a mistake over here on the ore smelting output when I was grabbing iron out or something else, but I don't think that's what happened. Well, I know that's not what happened. Uh, then I checked over here and gold was in fact coming up in the nickel box over here. We've got a couple of uh, nickel bars in here, so it's actually smelting now. Yeah, we're gonna take some catch up to get to get done with that. But temporarily, I'm routed all of that gold that was in storage over into this empty storage box over here. So we've got an awful lot of gold now. Unfortunately, we have like zero nickel. This thing's gonna bring some and that thing's gonna come get it because we're using it downstairs. I don't think anything else has really changed on this level. Our coal storage over there is full. I'm thinking about putting in another one. Uh, I've grabbed the wrong elevator. I do that sometimes. Let's see if we can get out of here without killing ourselves. Okay, we managed it. Let's get in here. Gotta increase the output of the mining, and right now it's just trickling in, and that is causing some serious problems with the nickel supply. But uh, I've put some signs here so we know what's being made in these various things. Put down some concrete so uh, so I can move a little bit faster. Over here, I'm going to grab some stuff because I need it. I need this copper wire like mad. And uh, let's take a quick look uh, again at what we got here. We got tin stuff. We got copper stuff here. We got iron stuff here. We got charged lithium coils here, which reminds me I probably need to feed the spider bot over there. Back in the back row, we got more advanced things. We got primary and secondary upgrade modules. Secondaries are getting built like crazy because they're sake nickel, gold foil, titanium housings. We've got hardened, hardened and alloyed machine blocks getting produced here. Crystal clocks and overclocked crystal clocks over there. Precision alloyed machine blocks, alloyed upgrade modules, advanced machine blocks ultimate upgrade modules. Over here, I don't think I showed this last time, this is the power core chargers, uh, power core charger setup. It's rather long because of my convoluted way of doing it. Could probably use those directional hoppers and save a spot, but I don't mind having two hoppers of these things around if I really need them at any point. And then here, this torn up section is um, gonna be missile assembly in this little spot, missile fueling over here, and plastic pellets over here. Actually, I don't think this is missile fueling. I think it's just HEFC creation. Let me let me change this. Uh, CF, HECF, yes, need to remember that. They get fueled right here, and then the final missiles are put into this bucket. So I've already run a little bit of the lines. Uh, let's see, what have I got going on here? We need to add some stuff here. We need to get iron in over here, copper in over here, gold in over here. And let me make a little get up over here. And we're gonna bring those into their respective boxes. Uh, copper's gonna go in here, gold's gonna go into here. And then the right under here, we're running the fuel back through. And uh, back here, we are creating 
the fuel canisters. That's what the iron up front is for. And then the canisters are going to run up here and into that. Biomass is going to come into that one. And then we're going to produce the canisters that are going to go over here. So let's get started hooking this all up. And we might as well hook up plastic while we're at it too. So over here I've got a trench dug over to biomass. I decided not to put biomass onto the... Uh, oh my gosh, you run a lot slower on this stuff, don't you? Decided not to put biomass onto the bus and that we would just do it around the back because I don't think we need it for a lot of things. So let's see. Let's get let's get some more conveyors because we're going to need a whole bunch Crafting. of them. Looks like I finally got a good stock of copper wire again. Let me get this stuff off my hot bar. And get some belts. Okay. Uh, let's see. We want to come out that way. Come down there. We're going to turn to the right. And this is probably super exciting, but you know, stuff got to get did. All right, let's see. We'll do one there and then we'll just pull it across. Let's seal this up. Not like that. That is not what I meant to do. And there comes another surface sack. Surface sack's been pretty minor lately, but I'm sure they're going to pick up before too terribly long. All right. We have got that coming that way. Hopefully that'll get picked up. It does. Wonderful. Try to seal this up as we go along. And uh, we got to put a straight on here or else it doesn't it doesn't build to me correctly. All your belts go sideways. Let's see if we can hit that. Yep. Awesome. back over here. I gotta remember we got a door over here. That goes down to the slime farm that didn't really work out for me. That's alright. We'll figure it out eventually. I have reclaimed my Falcors uh, from the missile thing upstairs and built a few more and it is my intention soon to start trying out that Falcor network for gathering stuff around the corners of the base I think. And uh, figure out some way to refrigerate it, and then we can work with it from there. Okay, so we got biomass. We want to take it into got all this all this floor cut away. That's remove only, so it wants to go up inside of there. Let's see, where were you? Right about there. Okay. So let me bring down a, a little column so we can get that belt in there. And we're going to bring this coal around. Let's do that first, I guess, before we do the biomass. So in here, we're going to insert a turntable. And we're going to bring it over to about right there. Let's see. How was I going to do that? I think we're going to put a hopper right there. Let's put a hopper right there. We'll put a PTG right there. And here we'll do this business. Okay, we'll just let the hopper pass through. And then over here we'll do another hopper right here. And grab that coal coming through. Throw a PTG there. And then we're going to bring it up here. So a hopper right here. No, a hopper right here. And then I think just a hopper right there. So we'll bring it in like that. Oh, I guess there was only a couple spaces there. And then here. Bring it back there. Okay, everybody should get coal now. And do I have PTGs in my hotbar? I do. I don't have very many. Oh, I don't have very many of them though. That's for sure. Let's see. Put one right in there. I didn't put that in the right spot. I wanted it to go right there. And one right here. And one right here. Then we need to get some power up there. I'm just going to use these guys 
for these two, which are a little higher power requirement. That went the right way to start with. I didn't need to flip it. This one here, we can use the we can use the baby. The baby Peter, the LETs. Get a little more room to walk in here. Okay, I think that has got it. I don't really like the positioning of this, but that's okay. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here, let's do one of these things. Do I do not want this being in my way. So what I think I'll do is I think I will put this into the ground a little bit. Is that is that looking right? I think it is. So we can just duck this under this and then bring it back up over this way. All right, that'll work. Let's see. Let's do a belt going that way, a down belt like that, an up belt like that. Oh, okay, I jumped up and run it right into there. Okay, get caught on the walls over here. One of those, a turntable there, straight belts going the other way. I thought that would pick up the direction off of there, but it didn't. Let's fill that in and then go find uh, where you got a Good lord. Okay, uh, find where you got a thing going on. What are you? You are the refinery vat. I think I've gotten turned around. That is remove only, so that's where we're going to take it up. And then I guess just straight back to there. I can't see the end of that conveyor, I'd pull it back automatically. Okay, yep, that's why you got to. <laughs> that's why you gotta put a straight piece after these doesn't know what direction to go in. Right? One of these. Some of these. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then when we hook this up, we should get some biomass flowing. That needs to be a step up. Actually down. And one more. Okay, biomass is flowing, right? Yep, looks good to me. Okay, well, let's get up out of this hole here. Is there a way to do that? Probably not. Let's we'll just go through the ceiling, I guess. Right about here. Nope, maybe not right there. I don't want to block that. If you put a block on these uh, upslope conveyors, they will, they will have a problem. Okay, so we need to bring, uh, I think we're done with this, right? Are you making us some plastic already? You are making plastic pellets, all right. I don't know what we're gonna use them for, but we got them. Now this here is going to be iron, so let's think about that. I think I had planned to just bring it along the shelf over here. So let's make that happen. Let's see, you like that, like that. That. And then let's go grab some iron. Okay, there's iron, and we're going to grab it out right there. So let's drop it down and throw a hopper in. And then back out. And then we got to go underground here a little bit. So let's see. I don't want to go too fast there. I have destroyed my hopper more than once by doing that. All right, and I think we'll better keep it on this level for a little bit. Cause we're gonna have to bring a couple more belts through here, potentially. Still don't know about sticking the molybdenum and stuff on there. Uh, those are frozen factory, I think, so we might be ended up using those much later. Maybe not, maybe not anytime soon. Okay, so iron goes here. Make a right turn and 
bring it over. Alright, so we should be getting some empty fuel canisters. We've got the biofuel going in there, so that ought to start producing HECF for us. It's building the floor so I don't fall in. Let's see if we start getting filled fuel canisters. I think we will. Empty fuel canisters. Oh, you are making plastic pellets. Of course you are. We don't want you to make plastic pellets. I forget about that sometimes. Are we going to have any more going? I don't think so. Okay, it's making it. Looks like it made one. And some more plastic pellets. Okay. I have the biggest problem with this. Oh, okay. I forgot there were some... There are already some parts in here. So it had already made a missile. I see now. Okay, we're going to be bringing gold to here. So how are we going to do that? I think like this. And then I've got a... Squeeze my way down here. Made this a little tortuous. I'll probably clean out these extra blocks later on. But for now, they'll help me out. And never put one there first. Always put them there. Okay, we'll take a left turn in. And we'll do one of those. And then we need to go get some gold. So, I'm going to have to go down a little bit. And we're going to grab the gold out right here. Throw in a hopper. Down. Up. Let's grab the gold. There it is. Guess we need a block here. Get my fingers are getting getting confused here. I go up. Cut away too much. Put a block in, and I can't see that. I'll just delete that block for now. Okay, there we go. There goes some gold in. And now we gotta get copper in. So I think what I'll do is just build this up. Like that. And all right, let's grab copper. Fortunately, we can do that in this line. We'd have to go a little bit down, so I think I'll bring it back just one. All right, down that up over here and I have to turn a corner All right okay there it is I was hoping I got it in the right spot something like that and I guess we can just bring it straight for a little bit until we get out of the bus line. Let's see. Can put it up right here. Do a little curve. These curves don't look so hot next to each other, but they work fine. And then we put some thingies like that. Some coppers going in. Let's make sure this is working. I think it is, but let's just make sure. I'll go ahead and put the floor in now, because I'm pretty sure it's working. All right. Empty missile. Empty missile goes into there. Empty missile gets combined with HECF. And there goes an empty missile. Okay, or a full missile. That is awesome. So we got missiles going. Got plastic going. And uh, fairly 
really happy with all of that. Let's uh, let's fill in the holes. I'll do some final cleanup later on, but in the meantime, oh my goodness, that's a long way away. Okay, let's do it to there for now. And uh, I think that's I think that's it. Uh, we got a quick episode today. I will attempt to do some uh, do some more planning for laying things out. I've got to figure out now that we're making them how these missiles get up to the surface and I'm not entirely sure how that will happen. I guess we could think about it a little bit here. And if you guys have any suggestions, you can let me know. Uh, let's see. So I think that I think that over here we've got an exterior wall. Let's just verify that that is the case. So if I dig up through here, yeah, we've got open ground out here. So I don't think I want to bring them out this way, but just over there we've got solid wall. So if we were to bring the missiles from here, where they are being done, and route them through over this direction, I won't dig this whole thing. I just want to kind of establish a line. And we've got some copper in the way there. But if we go up here, can we get past the copper? Yeah, it looks like we can. And what's this? This is just the inside wall over here. So we can run them up through the inside wall and out the top up here and get them into the mix that way. Route them around on some kind of conveyor belt around the defensive structures. Uh, it occurs to me those Falcors just seem super slow, especially if we're getting them up from down here. Distributing them up to the turrets once we've got them upstairs might not be that big a deal, but I think getting them up there will probably be better served putting them on a belt. So I think I'll probably probably try to rig something like that up. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to end up looking like up here. It is so bright down here, by the way. I guess it must be daylight. The light levels in this game are so weird, it's hard to get them right. Because like when it's daylight, it's uh, kind of uniformly lit. And then when it's uh, when it's nighttime and these lights kick on, it just goes mad. I'll put down lights and then I have to take them out. Okay, so we'd be bringing the missiles up like right over here somewhere. And then uh, I have to establish some decent looking way to get the coal around, to get missiles around, to get whatever else we need to get around to these various little turret things. And I may change the look of these turret things. I kind of like this stick and beam style, but uh, but it may not be it may not be the best thing for these turrets. I kind of might like to have them enclosed a little bit so that we can have stuff going up and down. But I'm not decided on that. Oh, spider bot. Spiderbot probably need to get fed. Let's go check him out. What do you got there? Yeah, you got zero in there. Let's get some. Uh, let's put some of these coils on our hot bar. I've been collecting them for him, but I haven't been giving him any. Oh dear, yeah, he was totally out. Uh, but he had eighty thousand power, so I guess he was fine. I also want to get those up here. Probably do that with Falcors. Can Falcors go through the through ground? I sort of suspect they might be able to. Most things in this game don't seem to care about like blocks and walls and things like that. But if they do, maybe we can put them up into a little set of hoppers over here, put some Falcors on them and have them take them up to him. Or we could just build a little column and put a conveyor belt up there. But for now, I can feed him by hand. It's not that big a deal. Uh, this thing I'm gonna take down now. I think it's all, it's all done. We don't really need any more uh, what are we yeah, 63k I don't really need any more of this but I might set it up in a building near a large coal mine and just have it turning coal into this construction paste and I don't really want to put it into a uh, construction paste one of those things like hey I need 10,000 of that right now and so putting it into one of those storage things getting 10,000 out you gotta you gotta wait a little while right so I don't know what the best way to store this stuff is. Probably just a bunch of hoppers, to be honest about it. But now that's clear. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good. 
All right. Uh, in the meantime, I'll probably do some stuff like reinforcing mining a little bit. Especially poor nickel. Uh, not working that great right now. I've just got one mine down there. Yeah, it's got some ore still in there, but it is moving pretty slowly. So we'll do that a little bit. Let's go outside and take a quick look at uh, what the base looks like from outside. That's it right now. I don't know. It's kind of plain. Kind of maybe want to do something with these upper walls. I thought about putting columns on the outside as well, but I didn't really like the look of that. So I'll think about it. Maybe some more iron trusses. Those look kind of cool. Cool and factory-like. Our, uh, our collection of stuff over here is getting a little bit better, although, yeah, probably need to go check on biomass, make sure it's coming up okay. We're empty here, and we're only about half full on cargo down there. The real limitation is I'm not mining super fast downstairs. I'm not sending a lot of juice down there. So I need to boost that power system, sending juice down there, and then boost up the, uh, the mining and loading of these carts. And we can build an advanced, an advanced, uh, uh, what do you call those things? Cargo lifts. Is it here? No, it's under here. I guess that didn't click right. Cargo lift. Where are you at? Improved cargo lift. You need a basic cargo lift, an ultimate upgrade module, and a basic mine cart. What does a basic mine cart take? I have never built mine carts. Where are you? Not under that. Do you have your own? Yeah, they have their own thing, I guess. Or not. Uh, you know, I may not have gotten the recipe for basic mine cart. I think it requires some um, organic rock, which we have quite a bit of, so it won't be a problem to build that. So I'll probably build upgraded cargo lifts, probably increase mining downstairs, and increase transportation so that we get a good flow of materials coming in. And get all stocked up while I build out power and while I build out defenses. And then I think we're ready to turn on the power and make some noise and get these bugs agitated a little bit. So we'll check that out hopefully, I don't know, in the next few episodes. I'm not really sure how long it'll take before we're ready to go with that. I think these attacks are going to scale massively when we turn these, uh, turn these turbines on. So I'm just going to have to try it out and see. We'll, we'll do like a test run. And uh, hopefully we'll make it and be able to destroy one of these hive beast things. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.